Hi, I'm Pam Rader, and my husband Mike and I are proud owners of three Morton buildings out in Tennessee City, Tennessee. Our first building that we built in 2010, which I fondly named Barn One, is 54 by 100. It has 13 foot ceilings inside the house and 16 foot ceilings in the garage. Barn Two, which is a home I built for my parents last year, it's 54 by 85 and it has 12 foot ceilings inside the house. And then Barn Three is a storage barn, which is 36 by 32 and it's strictly a storage barn. It was very important for us because we're building, we have a little seven acre lake and getting the house positioned properly so that we had the best views from the home were very important. So um, that, was, that was key in laying the building out and turning it just a little and it could have been just a, you know, one degree, but we, we feel like we've, we got optimal setting on the house. Um, you can sit on the porch and see the lake perfectly. It's wonderful. There are two entrances to our to barn one. One is an exterior entrance is through a door um, from the porch, and then there is another entrance coming through the three oversized garage doors in the garage. We did put a 14-foot door in one of the bays so that we could have a future motor home that we could pull easily into and store. Um, we also put 12-foot wide doors so that there's lots of access bringing tractors and things inside the building. Um, so when you walk in from the, the main entrance outside the porch, you walk into the kitchen area, kitchen and dining area, and it's basically one big open room to the family room and kitchen area, which from the way we live, everything happens in the kitchen. So we've, we've made it so that everybody can be right in the kitchen and there's lots of space in the kitchen for that. Off the kitchen are the two bedrooms, two bedrooms, two baths, and it's small enough that we can have guests if we want, but not big enough to have lots of guests. So it's kind of just a nice cozy place for us to spend. We originally built this as a weekend house and um, then moved my parents up from Florida, so it became a weekend house for mom and dad and us, um, which worked out perfectly because it has the two separate suites. Um, it does have a, a laundry room that's easy to access off the main room. Barn 2 is very similar to Barn 1 in the fact that it's um, got one big family and kitchen area. However, as my mother says, it's like sitting in, in church and it should have pews all down it because it's such a large room. But it was made with the thought in mind that if my father was in a wheelchair, that the ease of access was just incredibly easy through the house. So you walk into the front door, which is off the driveway and the porch, and walk into the grand hall, as mom calls it, that leads into a very nice, big open kitchen again that overlooks the lake. And then off the kitchen, directly off the kitchen, is my parents' bedroom and bathroom, which is also all handicap accessible with, with roll-in shower and no doors to contend with. And then on the other side of the kitchen is uh, our master suite, which when we're up at the house, that's our suite, which has a very nice uh, forest granite shower in it. And then there's another third guest room off of, off of the kitchen for a guest in a full bath with it. And it also does have a beautiful laundry pantry room. We did decide after we were finishing barn two, we were about a month away from finishing and I was panicked a little bit wondering where we were going to keep all the tractors and trailers and motorcycles and equipment. So as they were finishing up Barn 2, they Barn 3 was delivered and I believe Barn 3 was put up in four days. We did do a little bit different system on Barn 3 because we wanted to do it much quicker. We went ahead and poured a slab and then they came in and put the anchor bolts down and then put the columns on the anchor bolts and built from there. It's heaven living here. That's all I can say. It's really heaven. You pull through the gate and pull down the driveway and it's heaven. When friends or family come up for the first time, it's, I think it's just such a, it's an amazing property to see for the first time because no one can believe that these barns actually have homes inside of them. So I think it's always a shock to everybody to see what you could 
you can do. And we've had several people come in and just say, wow, I would never think, you know, I never think I could put a home in a building like this. And um, we've actually gotten, we've actually had people stop from the highway to come see, you know, can we please come in and see what you've done with this place. So it does, it does draw a lot of attention. Um, I think a lot of times you see metal buildings everywhere, especially in a, in a county like we're in here. But there is definitely a, a distinguishing difference between a Morton building and a, and a metal building. There's, there's a touch of class to it. You just feel like you walk up and it feels like it's sturdy. You feel like it's going to be there forever. Overall, I believe it is one of our most favorite homes. Just the, when people drive up and see the, the red roofs and the tan building, they just they can't believe that there's a home inside of it. And I think that's, that's the best part for me is the surprise that people get when they walk inside our home, our Morton building.